Hey, hey, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Shanae, and today I'm going to share with you my favorite filling for macarons. This is a simplified French buttercream filling. Although it's a simple recipe, a lot of my readers run into a common issue where their buttercream is too runny for filling macarons. And I thought I would demonstrate the process for you so that it's easy and you'll get perfect results every time. So let's get to it. For this recipe, you will need two egg yolks, milk, sugar, butter, and vanilla extract. You can also use different flavoring extracts if you wish. French buttercream is a buttercream that uses egg yolks. For today's recipe, we'll need two egg yolks. We'll combine it with sugar and whip it until it's nice and thick and pale yellow. And for this recipe, because it's such a small amount, I like to use a silicone cup like this with high sides. So when we whip it, nothing flies out. So I love this setup. As soon as you mix the two mixture, it looks really bright yellow and very runny, and we'll continue mixing. Mixture is looking really great. As you can see, the color has changed and it's much, much paler and this doubled in size, at least doubled in size. Sometimes it's even triples or quadruples in size. And when you lift the batter, it falls into a ribbon. This is called the ribbon stage. And this is exactly what we want to see. Now into the mixer, we're going to add milk and then we'll mix it until well combined again. Okay, that's it. Now we're going to transfer this mixture into a small saucepan and we're going to cook this mixture over medium low heat, stirring the entire time so that it doesn't scorch on the bottom. So my mixture has cooked and thickened, and when you run a spatula in the middle, it should leave a trail like so. It's okay if it fills up, but you wanna see the trail. And then we're gonna transfer it into a clean bowl. Now the most important thing is to let the mixture cool completely. It should come to the room temperature. Right now it's 115 degrees, and we wanna cool it down until about 80 degrees is preferably. I love this thermometer, infrared thermometer, really convenient. Check the temperature of the mixture now. It's 83 degrees, perfect. So now we're going to add the butter in three batches. This is really important to cool your custard until it's 84 degrees, a little above room temperature, because if you add the butter into a warm mixture, your butter will just melt, and that's how you get runny mixture. My buttercream is super bright and yellow because I'm using farm fresh eggs. Now, because the mixture is not as warm, it will take a little bit to melt the butter, and that's exactly what we want. We don't want to melted butter. We want to reserve the creaminess of the butter. Be patient and gently fold in butter slowly. So my buttercream is ready. I added the last of the butter. If your buttercream is a little loose and a little runny, don't worry. Just put them in the fridge, let it firm up a little bit because it's butter, butter firms up and it thickens. So if it's a little bit runny, it's not a problem. I'm going to transfer my buttercream into a piping bag. You can whip this buttercream if you would like. For macarons, I prefer not to whip it. I just like to fill the macarons as is. And I'm going to show you the consistency by filling this macarons. Just a few for demonstration. It's not pretty. You can pipe it like so, or you can of course pipe into a ring. put the filling in the middle as well. Truly, really delicious buttercream filling. It's not as buttery as an American buttercream because of the custard 
and that's exactly why I love it so much. And I really hope you will give this a recipe a try. And if you do, please let me know in the comments below. And if you also take a picture, please send it to me via Instagram. My handle is right here. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.